Hey guys, David Aronson here. Uh, <clears throat> what I want to uh, discuss uh, is uh, getting additional points um, in your model. Uh, so what I've done is I've downloaded a roof drain here um, directly off of uh, BIM object. And <clears throat> what I want to do is I want to be able to have a point embedded in this family. Um, so regardless of where uh, I place uh, this 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 roof drain, um, you know I can collect a point off of it. Okay, uh, <clears throat> you can place manually place points uh, from the you know evolve tab here where you need it to be, but it'd be much more ideal to have that point embedded in the family. Okay, so I, what I want to do is walk you through kind of how to do that um, and have it um, that way it'll show up in your point manager uh, automatically. Okay. So I'm in the um, family editor here, okay? Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to insert uh, the point family, okay? The evolve point family, okay? Uh, so now it's down here in the, um, in the browser, okay? So what, first off, I need to set the work plane, okay? Of the bottom down here. Okay, uh, now I'm going to drop in the point. There we go. Um, <clears throat> so this is technically not a layout point. Um, <clears throat> so we have I have some default ones in here called uh, rectangular and uh, sleeve points. Uh, when you change that to a, to those types. You'll see you pretty much all you get is just a round dot okay uh, so what you can do is also create more types of these points so i'm going to duplicate this type and we'll say um, roof drain okay click ok um, now we'll change the size and make sure that it um, you know stays with the, the the end of the run here let's move that off to the side okay so it's staying with that connector run it through a few paces okay looks good click OK um, so now we need to map um, some parameters okay um, so how do we get the value of this point name uh, into the actual fitting itself so we have some parameters built into the EV point family okay so what we need to do is tell evolve how to pass this information around um, so inside the floor drain family I've added a couple of just general parameters here one called point name and one called point number okay um, so this these can be anything you can name these whatever you want you could say floor drain point number you know floor drain point name okay if that's what you want to do I've just kind of named them generically here so when I'm clicked on the point uh, in point description, I want to type in the name of that parameter. So I'm going to say, uh, what did I say? Point name. And then for the point ID, I'm going to say point number. And then up here in layout point description, I'm going to do essentially the same thing. I'm going to map that to uh, point name. And then the point ID, I'm going to map that to point number. Click OK. All right. So that right there is enough information for Evolve to be able to pass this information around. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to load that into the job. Overwrite it. So now what you'll see is a really small dot, okay, representing that point uh, in the family. Okay. So opening the points manager now you'll see that I've got one point showing up and it is nested. Uh, so expanding this out, that's the name of the hosted family, the name of the drain. Um, so I've also got a, a number, okay, and a description. All right, so I can also bulk update this information. I'll do some auto numbering sequence. We'll say floor drain dash one, okay. Um, if I wanna update the uh, description 
So right now it's pulling in the um, the type. So what if I wanted to say uh, family name and type? Hit the drop down here, and let's see if we can find family name and type right here. Okay, click OK, click Apply. Okay, and all that's committed uh, to the model now. Okay, uh, so that's how you can uh, nest a point inside of a, another family um, and have it show up in, in Evolve properties. Thanks.